All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, this is Consensus Factory, Decentralized Reflections on Consensus. It is an event that we're organizing for the first time this year, and the goal is mainly to uh, present different perspectives on uh, blockchain scalability from projects across and sorry, I was listening to myself on YouTube, from projects across the industry. <laughs> so uh, we have a full program today with speakers uh, from, from uh, several of those projects. I will not go into it in detail because our first speaker will. And our first speaker is uh, Marco Vukolic, is the consensus web lead at Protocol Labs uh, since he joined in, in, well, last year in 2021. Prior to that, he was a principal research staff member at IBM Research Zurich, uh, and earlier he was also a postdoc there. He obtained his PhD from EPFL in the Distributed Programming Laboratory, and prior to that he was also at EPFL for his previous degrees and the University of Belgrade. Uh, his main research interests are in decentralized systems, and uh, particularly uh, systems that span multiple administ sorry, administrative and trust domains, namely permissionless and permission blockchain systems. And so Marco will be introducing the events and giving us an overview of the work that uh, is also doing. You can take it from here, Marco. Thanks, uh, thanks, George a lot. So welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to Consensus Factory. So this is our attempt to bring together uh, in a decentralized fashion, uh, like bottom-up uh, leading Web3 projects. So each of the speakers that you're going to hear today is talking about their chosen uh, uh, work. So basically we have a set of five invited talks. And then the idea, I mean, you can listen to these talks on YouTube and, uh, you know, following individual projects. But uh, what is the goal of the event is really to try to come together in the end. So we're going to have a basically a final session in which I will give you an agenda shortly, uh, in which we are going to try to make sense out of this, you know, uh, these are L1 projects, so they all may kind of aim to be the, the backbone of, uh, of their own ecosystems, but can we build something more together? Can we, can we interoperate together? Can we, uh, you know, make a, uh, I would say not a project ecosystem out of each project individually, but like Web3 ecosystem. So that's the main point of the of the event. And now working uh, uh, into details. So why is consensus scaling in the first place important, which is the topic of, of this event, right? Uh, so consensus is the bottleneck of decentralized systems. And it's also its backbone and basically the heart, whatever you want to call it. And there are main two bottlenecks in uh, current L1, or actually like, uh, you know, legacy L1 uh, systems or established L1 systems, if I may. Uh, and these are related to ordering because consensus, what it does is essentially provides your global order of transactions in a nutshell. And there is transaction execution or validation, whatever you want to call this, right? So as you, uh, as you are basically ordering these transactions across a set of nodes, uh, these nodes essentially need to execute them uh, one by one or sequentially. And ordering is a bottleneck because like uh, where we started from, uh, for example, with Bitcoin, we have seven transactions per second on very, very robust and uh, decentralized L1. Then on Ethereum, uh, we have around 15 or so transactions per second. And this is clearly not going to scale, right, to, to for even for just payment purposes, if you think of payment or, or like what Bitcoin trust, uh, like money and payments, what Bitcoin is trying to establish, let alone if you start executing smart contracts like Ethereum does, right? And uh, basically any protocol, so in the ordering world, let's, you know, moving to very efficient protocols, losing some decentralization perhaps and some security, right? Because there are trade-offs. Uh, even if you throw in the best protocol on a single, let's say, consensus instance, this will be a bottleneck because it will be limited, limited by single validator specification because each and every node uh, needs to kind of process all transactions. And then we come to execution. Uh, and uh, execution in current smart contracts is largely sequential. And many, uh, many projects try to overcome this and we will hear some of the attempts soon. But uh, so if we throw, for example, best consensus protocol, the, the bottleneck will be typically transaction execution latency. So this is in a nutshell where, uh, where we stand and there are different attempts uh, to overcome this situation. And uh, 
but they more, mostly focus on their own, like each project focuses on their own goals, like zooming out a bit. Like if you want to implement a decentralized web, like Web3, we would need to scale at the, like what Web2 provides us today. So we need to think about maybe, you know, billions or trillions transactions. And uh, we need to have different latency constraints depending on a use case or like, you know, on the guarantees that we want to have. And the situation complicates dramatically. So I won't read out all these high level consensus requirements, but it's kind of clear that, you know, you, we want to improve the performance and scalability of a single consensus instance, but we also want to scale out, right? So we want to be able to make that not each validator executes every transaction, but that we have some uh, kind of load balancing and these sort of things. And the situation gets complex, right? So uh, one year ago, Protocol Labs basically formed Consensus Lab. And Consensus Lab is uh, dedicated in the, in the Protocol Labs uh, basically to the scalable consensus and decentralized systems research. So we have our own in-house R&D team, which consists of 15 members. But we are very, very, very dedicated. So one of our hallmarks, I would say, is uh, that we are dedicated to collaboration with academia and other Web3 projects. We also run different grants and decentralized funding schemes like many other projects. But we are building, like, we have events such as Consensus Factory today, and uh, where we try to bring the knowledge from different ecosystems and different viewpoints and which don't necessarily agree with each other together, to try to build together uh, decentralized web, decentralized uh, computing, and better in the like zooming out even more better place for, for people to live on this planet. So Consensus Factory is our event that we in which we foster collaboration with other Web3 projects. And Consensus Days is another event that I will talk about more, which is more academically oriented. And we are dedicated to working in the open. So if you go to our consensuslab.world, you will find our landing page. And from there, all the uh, links related to our work, like uh, GitHub or like our weekly progress notice or like our grants or whatever you need. And also a link to our Slack channel. So we, I'm highlighting the Slack channel because we are going to use it uh, today for communication and discussion, right? So you can ask questions in the consensus uh, channel, but uh, you can also use it for discussions. And in our previous events, this worked uh, magically. So this was uh, like leading to really lively discussions and, and, and so on. Uh, so basically out of all this collaboration and in-house work, we are trying to impunk not only the Falcon and IPFS ecosystem, but the entire Web3 ecosystem. Uh, essentially, we are structuring our work in Consensus Lab in three different pillars or three different areas, if you want. And I'm pretty sure we will hear today about each and every one in the, of these in some sense. So one is related to this, not having a single consensus instance, but like, you know, multiple consensus instances somehow collaborating together. Let's call this very, very abstractly sharding. Uh, and then, you know, inside of which each shard in such a system, there are scalable consensus implementations, right? So depending the requirements depend whether you're talking about L1s with thousands or like even more nodes, right? Maybe tens of thousands of nodes. Uh, or like, or if you go down, maybe you have uh, less, like smaller number of nodes, which you, can, which you can use more efficient protocols and so on. So this second area would be scalable consensus implementations. And the third area of importance uh, and the third area of focus for Consensus Lab is scalable execution. You know, how do we support different uh, execution environments? How do we go about parallel, uh, maybe speculative execution? How do we do computation over arbitrary data and not just on-chain data and so on? So about our events, we started uh, with Consensus Days last year. So this was our, the first event that Consensus Lab organized. So we had more than 250 registered participants. This was mostly our, this Consensus Day is our academic event, right? So this was an event where we accepted the talks, uh, which are also like new talks, but also uh, like existing work, but recent. And it was a huge success. And one of the hallmarks of, of that event was this panel on decentralized collaboration. And today we have a similar uh, session, which is the last session, but we try to, you know, learning the lessons that we, that we heard during the day, try to, you know, discuss how, you know, we can put these Lego pieces together and maybe, you know, uh, build something better as a, as a whole. 
Consensus Day is appearing uh, this year as well. Uh, this year is an ACM, ACM CCS workshop, so I'm just advertising it a bit here because the deadline uh, is uh, Friday this week. So again, we are accepting uh, both new and recent published work even. So you can just, just consider submitting your best work to Consensus Day. And we are organizing this, uh, Consensus Lab is organizing this together with Berkeley uh, Center uh, for Responsible Decentralized Intelligence led by Don Song. Finally, consensus factory, right? So we have an amazing set of speakers, and uh, these are the people whom I thank, thank very much, who responded to our invitation to uh, give us the talk about their work today. And we will have uh, Sergio Mena from Informal System, Dankrad Feist from Ethereum Foundation, uh, Arno B. from IRHK, I think Sebastian is not going to make it, uh, Alfonso De La Roja from Consensus Lab Protocol Labs, and Victor Luciano from Algorand. Uh, again, you can hear probably all of these talks on YouTube, but the idea is that, you know, we try to bring this together in the last session, which is this, this call, decentralized reflection on consensus, like a Q&A panel. And uh, just a bit of uh, preliminaries, so technical stuff. So for the event, join our Slack channels for, for online discussions, asking questions during the event. You can do it in a Zoom chat as well, but if you want like, you know, more structured discussions, it's better to use Slack. So, uh, then we will st stick to schedule. As you will see in the previous slide, I mentioned that we have like, you know, each talk starts a specific time. And because some people might join only for certain talks, then we are going to start every talk right at time. So in case that uh, talk ends before scheduled time, we are going to start the Q&A session pertaining to the talk earlier, but we are not going to start the, uh, the next talk uh, before scheduled time. And then we have two, two 10 minute breaks scheduled uh, for uh, 240 UTC and uh, 10 past 4 UTC 10 minute breaks. So with that, uh, I welcome you to the event. And uh, George, let's announce uh, our first speaker. Thank you and enjoy uh, enjoy the event.